The Webb Telescope has done it yet again, delivering a discovery so ancient and so strange that it's shaking up what we thought we understood about the universe. And honestly, scientists everywhere can feel the ground shifting beneath their feet. To see why this moment matters, we need to jump back, not to the Big Bang, but to the year 2022. Until then, our most distant known galaxy was GNZ 11, a tiny smudge captured by the Hubble Space Telescope. That single find had once felt like a triumph. Hubble, with its 2.4 meter mirror, had shown us wonders. It stretched our gaze farther than anyone dreamed possible. But even Hubble had boundaries. Then came Webb, an entirely different beast. With a colossal 6.5 meter mirror and the ability to read the faint infrared glow of the earliest galaxies, Webb didn't merely extend Hubble's legacy, it blew past it. In its early observations, it uncovered a galaxy called Jade's GSZ 140. This object became the farthest confirmed galaxy, boasting a redshift of 14.32. Redshift basically tells us how much a galaxy's light has been stretched as the universe expands. The bigger the number, the older the signal. Just when astronomers finished catching their breath, another galaxy surfaced, MOMZ-14. MOMZ-14 nudged that record even farther with a redshift of 14.44. But the real shock wasn't the number, it was what the galaxy actually looked like. It's incredibly small, only about 500 light years across. For perspective, the Milky Way is more than 100,000 light years wide. Yet, despite its humble size, MOMZ14 shines with surprising power. Galaxies born so early in cosmic time are expected to be faint, barely visible. Not this one. MOMZ14 blazes with new stars, forming at a breakneck pace as if the universe's first chapters were unfolding in Fast Forward. But one detail, or rather what's missing, made astronomers pause. There's no evidence of a supermassive black hole. Most star-forming galaxies we've examined hide one at their core. These giants shape how galaxies grow, sculpting their structure and influencing when stars ignite or fade. But MOMZ-14 shows no trace of such a monster and the story gets stranger. When scientists used Webb's spectrograph to study its light, they discovered unusually high levels of nitrogen. Not just high, out of place. This chemical signature echoes what we see in some of the Milky Way's oldest star clusters, hinting that MOMZ-14 is forging stars in incredibly dense conditions. And that was nowhere in the predictions. Galaxies from this early era were expected to be chemically bare, mostly hydrogen and helium, the universe's first ingredients. Yet MOMZ-14 is loaded with heavier elements, which means several generations of stars must have already lived, exploded, and enriched it long before we ever expected. In other words, galaxy building may have kicked off much sooner than our theories allowed. That realization leads to a huge question. How many more galaxies like this are hiding out there? Before Webb, astronomers assumed such early, complex galaxies would be almost impossibly rare. Now, they're turning up far more often than anyone imagined. These ancient, compact, ruby-like galaxies, nicknamed Little Red Dots, keep appearing in Webb Telescope's observations. MOMZ-14 might be the champion for now, but even scientists admit the crown probably won't stay on its head for long. That's where anticipation turns into awe. The deeper we look, the more the universe surprises us. Every new galaxy forces us to rethink what we thought was settled. If objects like MOMZ-14 were more common, formed stars more aggressively, and carried richer chemistry than our models ever predicted, then what else have we overlooked? Does this galaxy shake our understanding of cosmology? Absolutely. Our current theories claim galaxies from this time should be scarce, slow to grow, and simple. MOMZ-14 is none of those things. It's energetic, luminous, and surprisingly mature. That doesn't mean our framework is broken. It means the picture isn't finished. 
MOMZ14 hints that the infant universe was far more dynamic, far more alive than the textbooks suggested, and this is only the opening chapter. Soon, the Nancy Grace Roman Space Telescope will join Webb Telescope in exploring these ancient epochs. Roman will sweep across huge patches of sky with exquisite precision. Working together, these observatories may uncover hundreds and possibly thousands of galaxies like MOMZ-14, each one a glowing breadcrumb from a time we barely comprehend. For now, though, MOMZ-14 remains a landmark discovery, a spark from a universe still learning to stand. And the deeper we dive into Webb's data, the clearer it becomes that the cosmos loves to upend our expectations. Some researchers studying these surprises have even floated a daring idea. Perhaps our entire universe exists inside a black hole. New research adds yet another twist. Scientists found that most galaxies seem to share the same direction of rotation. By analyzing the shape and curvature of their spiral arms, researchers identified their spin and discovered an imbalance where there should have been symmetry. In a universe governed purely by randomness, galaxies should rotate roughly half one way and half the other. But they don't. And according to the study's authors, this strange pattern, in conflict with standard cosmology, might be a sign that our cosmos itself resides inside a black hole. To grasp the logic behind this, we need to revisit how black holes behave. When enough mass collapses under its own gravity, it forms a black hole with an event horizon, a boundary nothing can cross outward. Anything falling past that invisible edge is sealed off from the outside forever. What unfolds inside that boundary, though, is still largely unknown territory. This is where black hole cosmology steps in, offering a radical lens through which to view our universe. Often called Schwarzschild cosmology, this idea proposes something astonishing. Our entire observable universe might actually exist inside the belly of a black hole belonging to a much larger parent cosmos. And when you think about the Big Bang, the theory becomes even more intriguing. The traditional model says everything began from a singularity, a point of infinite density eerily similar to the heart of a black hole. But if our universe is truly the inside of such an object, then the Big Bang wouldn't have been an explosion into emptiness. Instead, it would be the instant when matter in that parent universe collapsed into a black hole, opening up a newborn universe on the inside. That also leads to a wild implication. Every black hole in our cosmos might be the seed of another universe branching off from ours. This perspective could even shed light on why the laws of physics appear so precisely tuned for life. If only black holes that produce stable, long-lived universes can survive and propagate, then our universe is simply one of the successful ones in a cosmic family tree. Researchers behind this idea argue that it may help explain several long-standing puzzles. Take entropy, for example. Black holes hold staggering amounts of it, and that enormous information capacity might mirror the vast complexity contained within our own universe. Another ingredient in this picture is something called torsion. In expanded versions of Einstein's relativity, such as the einstein cartan theory, Torsion represents how particles' intrinsic spin can twist space-time itself. Some interpretations suggest that this twisting could create a repulsive force at extreme densities, perhaps preventing matter from ever collapsing into an infinitely small point. If that's true, then instead of forming a true singularity, a black hole's core might undergo a kind of cosmic rebound a big bounce, where the collapse reverses and triggers an expansion. Inside that rebound could lie the birth of an entirely new universe. According to the scientists exploring this model, 
That recoil might be the very event we interpret as the Big Bang. Not a creation from nothing, but a resurgence from deep within a black hole in apparent cosmos. If this view is correct, it would rewrite our understanding of how universes begin, hinting that creation may be part of a continuous, self-replicating cycle, with no true beginning or end. Another compelling twist is the suggestion that our universe may have a preferred direction, a cosmic axis. Studies of galaxy distributions and their motions show patterns that aren't completely random. This cosmic anisotropy runs counter to the widely accepted cosmological principle, which states that when you zoom out far enough, the universe should look uniform in every direction. If there really is a favored axis, it could signal new physics at work, perhaps tied to how our universe was born inside a black hole, or how the forces of nature behaved in its earliest moments. And adding even more pressure on our current theories is the presence of massive, fully formed galaxies appearing impossibly early after the Big Bang. But as thrilling as the black hole universe idea is, there's also a simpler possibility behind these strange observations. It might just be that some of our earlier measurements, such as the Milky Way's rotation speed, aren't as accurate as we believed. If that's the case, the odd rotational imbalance could stem from miscalculations rather than exotic new physics. Still, one thing is undeniable. The cosmos keeps revealing layers of strangeness we never expected. And these lopsided galactic spins will almost certainly push astrophysicists to reevaluate parts of our cosmic playbook. So, what's your take on all this? Share your thoughts below, and as always, thank you for exploring these cosmic wonders. After all, this corner of the universe exists for you.